Good morning. Just yesterday we had the beautiful, beautiful gospel reading of Jesus being the Good Shepherd. And as I've been just praying and reflecting and thinking about this, the thing that came to mind is that a shepherd actually leads and guides. A shepherd doesn't just simply teach, right? So a shepherd wouldn't tell the sheep, now work with me on the analogy here because I know sheep wouldn't be able to understand. But a shepherd doesn't just tell the sheep, don't go here, and then expect them to listen and just that that's all that they do, right? The shepherd will say, hey, here's places you're not supposed to go. But if people go there, the shepherd comes around and, and leads and guides and nudges them gently back. That's exactly what God does with us. Sometimes people are like, God, you know, it's all these rules and these different things in the church. Yep, he gives us those rules to keep us safe, but he doesn't just stop there, right? He continues to journey with us. Whatever it is that you might be struggling with, know that you are not alone. Jesus comes to, to lead us and to guide us. And the beautiful thing that Jesus says too is he says that the sheep know the shepherd's voice. My question is, do you know the voice of the Lord? When the Lord reaches out to you in simple, subtle ways in the middle of your day, do we listen? Or how often do we have it where there's like some notion or idea maybe that comes to mind and we think to ourselves, yeah, I probably should do that thing, but probably not that big of a deal. When something comes to mind that we think will be, will be helpful for us, it will help us to be more disciplined, uh, even if it requires sacrifice, we need to know the shepherd's voice. We need to listen and say, you know what, I'm going to follow that. If when things come to mind that we think, you know what, this would be a good thing, but eh, I don't really need to no. Do those things. And as we do them, we'll become more healthier. We'll become stronger, closer to the Lord, and we'll be more attuned to hearing his voice and realizing right away, like, yeah, this is going to be good for me. So I'm just going to do that. That's how we grow in holiness. So when that still, simple voice comes to your mind, even if it sounds like your own like head voice, like you know how we have like our, our thoughts like in our mind. If there's something that just comes to mind that we haven't thought of before, that's just like a beautiful idea that like, oh, you know, this, this might be a good thing for me. Know that that's not your own head just coming up with it. That's the Lord speaking to you. Practice listening to his voice, to know his voice, to follow the shepherd, to experience his peace. God bless you.